back everyone, she Kai Hawker here reporting for the festival. So today we are back to Forza Horizon 4 and well well I want to do a festival playlist. Well today I may need this well this week to be precise I may need to skip that completely. Because well there is an interesting car on the Forza Toy shop and apparently when I research it the car is actually already released around two months ago with in the same way but since well around two months ago i don't think i'm actively play so i didn't get it i didn't get the car when it was released first so now i just going to review this car without showing the usual modification that i did but one thing that i can tell you i put uh v8 racing on this thing so that's the only thing that i did that i could remember anyway so yeah what you're seeing here is the 2010 russian q1 or q1 uh, q1 q1 quarter one i don't know but it's that car it's basically a supercar class i think and well as long as i'm aware this car is quite interesting because how do I say it? Um, there is a gap between confidence and hesitation, and basically that gap is very little in this car. Because once you hesitate, you will crash this car, uh, or if you offer confidence, you also crash this car. It's just that kind of car that requires you to be stay in that safe zone between confidence and hesitation. So, here I am. As you can see on the screen. And well, the livery right here is based on Hyperdimension Neptunia series. And well, it's obviously Neptune featured in, on the car. One of your most interesting protagonists. <laughs> Uh, in the last decade, as, as far as I, cons uh, I think, because she, well, she can break the fourth wall really easily if you if she want to. And uh, well, the design was created by someone, obviously. Uh, where is the? Uh, you know, what? I'll just show you the pictures of the creature on the screen. So just so you can visit him or her. And well, download this awesome livery that I created and today just like usual it's, it's been too long since I visited my uh, custom route so I might as well do that and uh, well since this is spring it will be a good time for this particular custom route as far as I'm aware and yes we are back to pincer pincher and anything goes and I'll tell you what I think about this car a little bit more thoroughly because I really love this car. This car really makes you need to focus a lot when driving. So, I mean, well, obviously you can just all wheel drive swap it if you really want to an easier time. But me being me, I upgrade this car into an S2 class top. And well. I kept it real drive. So that's an interesting bit. Not much people do that. I mean, it, as you can see, the, the launch is not that great. But obviously, once it's got going, it just go. And how about the braking? Uh, the braking is, well, as you expect from S2 car usually. This car has quite some grip for a real drive, so that can push you towards the confidence side of the car but the speed is well always concern me because i'm more of an s1 driver than an s2 driver on this game so yeah you thing is you don't want to be hesitant when you're driving you really need to be confident enough to drive this car and, or else you will go under steer when you start uh, letting off the throttle 
And yes, there are some like hesitation there, but since it's on a lower speed, you'll be fine. But on on a higher speed, if you do that, well, you may uh, die because well, reasons. All right, let's go to more higher speed because this is more of the zone that I'm used to the comfort. Well, maybe not that one because I need to break. I feel. Oh yeah. That one is more on my fault, more than anything, because I didn't see the corner properly. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, overconfidence. Well, you see, I'm overshooting the corner there. Yeah, I'm not recommending you guys to put on the throttle during corner, because you can oversteer of that, obviously. But as far as grip goes, this car is good enough for me. I mean, oh yeah, I forgot about that. But well, you see, if you're over confidence, you may put on too much throttle, or you may put on the brakes way too late, and it will cause some crash. But if you're hesitant, you also do that in this car. Ooh, see what I mean? Breaking around here. Kinda of forgot where this goes, but I have the gist of it at least. But yeah, if you're not confident enough, you, I don't think you should try to drive one of these, I mean, with my tune at least. Because if you want to drive one of these and don't have to worry about the confidence or hesitation, you can just go download someone else tune that actually has all-wheel drive swap because, well, that's the easier way to do it. But yeah, this car has a lot of grip according to the lateral G, but... Well, you, you still need to be careful, otherwise you will go fearing off into the field somewhere here. Yeah, I feel like I need to break on that one. Break around here. It's been a while, so I kind of forgot where was the breaking point, but... I only have one lap on the demo version of this track, so you know, don't have much chance to learn the track again. Yes, basically, this car is actually quite, well, it's not tame because it's a rear wheel drive, especially in this game. But you can put enough brakes to make sure it stops. I mean, it stops, obviously. But you also need to put some throttle on the corner with this particular turn. Which is not recommended at all, especially for a newcomer. But this car is actually really great. It has good acceleration for a real every wheel drive because it's around 1000 horsepower with the current turn that I have. And the car is really light. It's around 2200 pounds, if I remember correctly. And well, if you. Try to drive this, please try to focus because as to class is no joke <laughs> at all usually. Unless you're racing a car that has so much grip around. It it will be okay, but with this uh, with this and the other cars that even have an all wheel drive swap, you may want to, you know, focus on the track instead of trying to talk to your audience. Because Oh god. I'm just letting off my eyes for a second and I almost crashed there. Yeah, basically this car requires you to focus because it's not as easy as BAC Mono or uh, Caterham Super Like because well they are really like, they are more on the grip side so they don't really have much speed compared to this. I mean this car is really wild. For, especially since it's a mid-engine real drive, so you may want to be careful. 
Or else that happened. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Didn't focus enough with my turning. So, uh, speed wise, it accelerates really well. Has good enough top end. And you just have enough grip, but you really need to know where to corner. Or else you may crash or understeer towards the uh, end of the corner. I'm quite hesitant on that one because. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is really not for people that has some hesitation during driving. I mean, well, I don't consider myself a confidence person, so you know. You may need to be careful with this particular car, it's really fast. But if you get used to it with the rules configuration, I'm pretty sure you can catch up with other people, but well, it's not the most competitive build, obviously. With real drive but mm, yeah car is actually pretty great just seven minutes damn with a standing start and by the way this is a uh, an unbeatable difficulty so it's really something but then again it's a time attack so it, it doesn't really matter but 10 seconds uh, yeah if you're really hesitant with this car, I, yeah, I don't really recommend it. But this car is actually pretty great if you kind of want to have fun with other World Drive on S2. Because it's fast, uh, has a manageable handling, and it can fly. <laughs> so you, you may want to keep that in mind because it's really light. And, well. I would say this car is really fun, that's why I decided to just go with this car and... But if you offer confidence with your braking, that happens. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. You need to slow down a little bit further if you if you don't put enough pressure on the brake. I can brake a bit deeper, put my brakes a bit deeper than you saw with this car because this car is really light as i said before and this car is really interesting okay let's try to drift it with this ah uh, yeah not the greatest <laughs> mm, yeah <laughs> you cannot really drift uh, car without the drift suspension in this game. I mean, you can, but I mean, yeah, you can do it like that. But you know, it's not the most effective thing to do. I mean, it could be a good uh, drift car on S2 as well if you're into that um, kind of drifting adventure, online adventure. So yeah, this car is really great. Really love it actually. I mean, yeah, maybe I don't sound like it, but, you know. <laughs> but you need to get yourself a drift suspension if you want to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, before I end this, let's just show you what, uh, what the spec of the car is here. So, this is Russian Q1, as you can see there. Let's, uh... Okay, there we go. And that's the spec that I've go with. It has 1042 horsepower with 784 foot pound of torque. And it weighs just 2216 pounds. So, pretty light. And yet I managed to jam 1000 horsepower under it, so that's a good thing. And well, weight distribution isn't really the best because it's shift towards the rear by looking at the front is 44 percent and the displacement well i already upgraded so it's 7.5 liter so yeah that's that for the day <laughs>